During Michigan's beautiful warm summer months, you will find more and more home gardeners attending their own special patches of land, growing everything from vegetables to annual and perennial flowering plants. The popularity of home gardening is growing in Michigan, so we thought you'd enjoy a trip to one of northern Michigan's largest family-run greenhouses just outside our own back door, the Rose City Greenhouse. Greenhouses are the first place many home gardeners stop at during the late spring months to purchase bedding plants, gardening supplies, and get valuable gardening tips from professionals. Our visit to the Rose City Greenhouse was made in late April, a time greenhouse operations were in full swing preparing for Memorial Day and late spring planting. Here at the greenhouse, you'll find operations running from seed planting and germination right up to floral services and arrangements. We began our visit with owners Roman and Grace Van Tome, former Southern Michigan farmers, who told us their operation began with a simple idea of supplying something they were already quite familiar with and experienced with. And uh, what a story. I mean, you really started with nothing, uh, Roman, and, right. and worked your way up and to where you've got really a beautiful greenhouse, all kinds of lovely plants. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we're going to let the folks know is how this all got started for you. That's always the first question we lead with. And Grace, uh, I know that uh, this is kind of a family operation. Right. We moved up here in 1975 and uh, started our greenhouse. Uh, in May was our first season uh, here, which is going to be 23 years now that we're uh -huh. in this location. And uh, we uh, were farming down below and uh, the land was being bought up and we owned this property so we decided to come up here and uh, well, I start a greenhouse in the yeah. north because uh, a lot of the products we were growing down there we were already shipping to the north and right. so uh, we were halfway there. Halfway. <laughs> I know uh, I can recall uh, like it was just yesterday you might say I'd be passing down 33 here and there's just a little building and all of a sudden there's two or three and what kind of what kind of structures do you call these? Uh, these are uh, Quonset uh, greenhouses by uh, XS Smith uh, uh -huh. got her connected and right. I do have some uh, right in the back, which are yeah. just quonsets, uh, mostly gutter connected yeah. uh, greenhouses. And most of what you do is wholesale here, is that right? Uh, it's about 50-50. 50-50. Yeah, but you right have here. flowers of every sort. Well, yeah, we, we try to grow everything we need so uh, we don't have to go buy. Uh, everything here is pretty well grown by myself. There, there isn't a humongous amount of yeah. any certain thing, but small amounts of everything to uh, to a company to take the customer. Yeah, yes, right. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much how yeah. I grow it here. Vegetable plants, you have them. Yep. You have you raise er also herbs. Yeah, this here uh, is uh, well. There's the Gerber daisy there, but most of this house here is all herbs, and uh, they're growing in three uh -huh. and a half inch pots. And always in the springtime, always looks so nice to come into yeah. a greenhouse like this right here, and everything is just starting to sprout up, and some of the things there in bloom. What is the most popular uh, flower at this time of the year? Well, We're talking springtime now. Probably the one you sell the most of is geraniums. Uh, as far as bedding plants, I you know I have quite a few of those, uh -huh. and uh, impatiens, petunias, and marigolds. Yeah. Those, those three, uh, uh -huh. as far as the bedding plant, go in that line. And then there's you know like the smaller amounts of like the Gerber daisies, yeah. New Guinea impatiens here right. that are bought in as a cutting a two and a half inch pot. Uh, and I plant them uh -huh. in four and a half inch uh -huh. pot and grow them on for about eight weeks. Uh -huh. And one of the Gerber daisies and also yeah. your cutting geraniums. Uh, yeah. There is um, your hybrid seed geranium which is grown from seed. That can be done. I have those on the all other right. side. So uh, the, the, the process uh, is really all winter long. Is that right? Well, uh, in some there are certain items like spring rice, by uh, Dracaena and uh, things. Uh, you seed in June this year for the following May, so actually you're going a year almost on those two items. Mm -hmm. uh, but the uh, majority of things like January on uh, starts coming on. When a person comes into the greenhouse like this right here, what is the most common, what is, what what are they looking for? Do they know what they're looking for when they come in, or uh, most of most of the well, folks? Pretty much so, I mean, uh, you know, um, they pretty much so like, you know, know what they want. Um, and then if there's items that they can't find, or mm -hmm. sometimes they'll bring a catalog in here and I mm -hmm. want this, uh, 
you know, then I you, you know, can oblige them by right if I have it, you know, and right. the majority of the time I do have it because I do have a, a number of varieties. Right. Grace, what is it that you really enjoy about? Well, I being your own boss, you might say you are. You and uh, Roman, what is it that really you like about what you do? I just coming out here every day. It's a um, nice environment. Even in the winter when it's snowing out, it's still, it's like you're in spring, yeah. you know, even in the winter. And I don't know, it's just a pleasant yeah. atmosphere. Just can watch things grow. And yeah, seeing things yeah. change day to day. And yeah. What would you say to somebody who is just getting started into a, whether it be a greenhouse, whether it be whatever it might be, what is it that they Expect they to need. put in long hours. <laughs> uh, I mean, right? Don't, <laughs> don't even think about a time clock. I mean, we're out. You're here out. Seven you're out here now, seven yeah. days a week, uh, yeah. and you're you don't you know you go out here at, uh, in the morning like we're here now, and uh, I could go in maybe nine o'clock tonight. I could go in at six. That's the advantage of being your own boss. I mean, you yeah. can quit when you want, but I mean, it's long hours. But this, there's an end to it because when it gets to be middle of June and that there, I mean, things slack off and uh, you're more yeah. at ease, you know. But it builds up if from January on, you know, if the, you're working your normal hours and as time goes on, everything's filling up and, and you don't look at hours anymore. Right. And it's a love of labor, really. Yes, I mean, it, you, 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 really got, you got to, to like it. Yeah. You got to like it. Yeah. And I mean, it, and it's a... It's and a, very demanding, really. Yeah, yeah. you got to be there, you, you got... You can't say, well, Sunday we're going someplace, because you can't you know, leave the plants. Uh, right. Might be dry, that might be dry. It's constantly mm -hmm. walking from, you know, especially right. if the sun is out. And then your uh, seedlings, like she does here, that's yeah. got to be done almost hourly when the uh, sun is out, because it's such a small cube. Any surprises in this type of business, in the, in the greenhouse business? Any great surprises? Well, I'm surprised that how well the greenhouse has done, you know, grown. Yeah. I mean, when we first moved up here, I was very skeptical. I didn't yeah. think I mean, this, this, could even make a living. This was just a, up north, huh? yeah. a swamp in the woods, and um, yeah. we had a cabin here, and then uh, had 40 acres in the cabin. And, uh, and one I, thing, I we told, don't, like, go out, you know, we don't. What do you say? Put out an effort to get new wholesale people. Yeah. Every year, it's people calling us that have heard of us. You know, and they Word come of to mouth. us. Yeah. 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 So that's you know yeah. that's how we basically got yeah. all our customers. Yeah. They've came and contacted us. And like I was saying earlier, Grace, that you know I remember just coming by here and uh, there's just one little building. Yeah, we started building. with three, yeah. three of these, three of these uh, that are connected. Got connected, and we built every year for 14 years. So you've got uh, quite a few. Yes. But you, you house quite a the, few plants and flowers. The 15th year we flowers. said we're not going to build, we're going to take the summer off. So. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking a little earlier and you said uh, really uh, planning uh, should start after really Memorial Day. Well yeah, I mean you're always up here anyway, you always have the danger of frost. I mean, yeah. uh, so I usually recommend after the uh, first of, uh, you know, decoration day or watch when the first full moon is in June. Usually if the full moon is the second, third, fourth, there's a chance of getting frost on that day. Right. So. And but, shrub, you said you have shrub, uh, you grow? Yeah, them. we have a uh, shrubbery, uh, you know, fruit trees, fruit uh, trees. shade trees, and maples, right. uh, a little bit of everything, you know, to uh, accommodate the customer. Okay. As they say, I'll give you a daisy a day. This is really a beautiful daisy, uh, Roman. It's a great daisy. Yeah. And, uh, by golly, I tell you what, they, they look nice in the yard, and uh, we have really enjoyed ourselves being here at uh, the Rose City Greenhouse today. Well, Roman, yeah. thanks so much, okay. and we will cherish this, yeah. and we will plant it outside the door of the museum there, or our studio, and okay. uh, Grace, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Thanks for being part of Michigan Magazine. Yep. Glad to have you.